Hello Zillow blog readers, happy Friday. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use Pinterest to help your real estate SEO. And it will help your real estate SEO. Um, it's just very few people use it correctly. I just signed up for a brand new account. I haven't put in my anything yet. And I'm going to show you how to use this for, for real estate. Okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go to my settings. You got your email address in there, first name, last name. If you already have a Pinterest account, look, it lets you change your username, which is just fantastic. Um, if you have a real old Pinterest account, meaning you know a year and a half or however long, uh, I would just leave it. But in this case, I'm going to be optimizing for somebody in Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs was already taken, so I took Springs, Colorado, which is fine. Um, that's a great username. If your username is, you know, my name's Michael George. If my username was MC George, um, that doesn't really help. Uh, I want to attract Google for Springs, Colorado Springs. <clears throat> now, this about is very important. I'll show you why. Let's uh, let's just do a search, Colorado Springs real estate, Pinterest. Let's see what other realtors are doing. The first one that comes up is this one, because right there, close to the root, you got the words real estate, right there, and it says. Uh, my motivation is your satisfaction. Let, let's click on that. And then that's that's pretty much, that's it. And that becomes her description in Google, okay? So think about how she could have written this better. Now the next one that comes up is Patricia Beck. Now Patricia Beck did good because she's got Colorado Springs real estate, that's why she's number three in Google but her username is Patricia Beck. Uh, and then after that, it kind of falls out. But, <laughs> so these are the top two in Colorado Springs. So, <clears throat> so now I'm gonna write a description and I'm gonna say, I'm a Colorado Springs real estate agent and licensed Colorado Realtor and this is where I put my new real estate listings. Now <clears throat> this is important. You'll notice that it'll tell you 200 characters remaining. Type until there's 50 characters or more remaining. That's because here, Google will take the first 150 characters. So uh, it took what she had, but she really didn't use um, that much. She could, she could have made this bigger. You saw she only had a very short description. So I wanna take, I wanna have a nice description with lots of keywords. Um, and if you can get this so it says 50 characters remaining, great, but don't go over 150 characters and make sure you say Colorado and Colorado Springs a couple times and for your location put Colorado Springs Colorado and make sure you put your website in and you you'll have to verify your website and that's a little that's getting off what we're doing right now, but you can figure that out <coughs> on yourself. I'm going to show you this stuff, uh, how to get this to rank high in Google. <coughs> I would say um, have your Twitter and your Facebook stuff. Now I'm going to save the profile. Okay, so now, oh, and I'll, of course, put in a new picture. So now I've got my Colorado Springs, Colorado. I've got a link to my website. I... Um, I've got a good description that uses keywords that are going to be in bold. <clears throat> now, 
we're going to start creating boards. And again, notice who's number three in Google for Colorado Springs Real Estate, Pinterest. And again, I know nobody's searching for Colorado Springs Real Estate, Pinterest, but this is so I can see who's on top for this. And look what her board is called. So it grabbed onto that. But I'm gonna do a little better because I've got Springs, Colorado, okay? So now I'm gonna do um, basically the same thing that uh, she did. I'm going to add, create a board. And this is where people get screwed up. Because let's say you say uh, Colorado Springs home listings. Um, Hmm. <laughs> I would put that in architecture. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> create the board. Now this is where most people stop, um, but you, because it, it makes you feel like this is you know enough to make you stop. So but you have to edit the board and ah, there's a description. They didn't even tell us. Warning, no description. So now I'm gonna put in the description, Colorado Springs home, home listings can be found here, including links to the Colorado Springs MLS. Um, that's a little short <laughs> for a description, but still, it's a description. It's a good description. I'm going to save settings. So now, like I said, this could be a little longer, but now look at our URL. Springs, Colorado, Colorado Springs home listings, all these keywords in our URL, a description, which a lot of people on Pinterest do not have descriptions. And then we can start pinning things to these boards. Okay? So... Just I'm gonna I'm gonna put some oh I'm the only person with that. Colorado Springs. Sorry folks. This is live TV for ya. Colorado Springs. So now let's say I repin this. Where should I put it? Well, I would have another board called Colorado Springs Photos or something, and I'd put it on that board. But for now, I'll put it on Colorado Springs Home Listings. And then this gets its own description. So, so um, home in Colorado Springs with beautiful mountain views on sale or that's not what we say is it um, <laughs> currently showing this MLS beauty I like to use the word MLS a lot okay so now let's go back to our board And let's click on this individual pin. And on the individual pin, we've again we've got our description. Now this links to her website, right? But again, I did this as an example. What you'll do is you'll go to your own website and you'll pin things to your board. You'll stay logged into Pinterest and you'll create different boards. So you've got your username here with the keywords. So I would, if I was a Colorado Springs Realtor, I would have Colorado Springs home listings. I would have Colorado Springs um, real estate. I would have Colorado Springs things to do, things to do in Colorado Springs, anything that you can think of, and create different boards. And you're going to have all of this content um, with uh, with these beautiful, strong URLs <clears throat> and with these strong descriptions. Because you're not going to write things like 
Hi, my name is Debbie, and I can help you uh, find a new home. You're going to write Colorado Springs home. You're going to use keywords. You're going to write good descriptions, and you're going to have a good username, and you're going to have good names for your for your pin boards. And then you're going to fill the pin boards with your own pictures and links back to your own website with strong keyword rich descriptions. And if you do this and you build up a presence on Pinterest, oh, also it doesn't hurt to ask all of your Facebook friends to go to your page and like it. If this Colorado Springs home listings, if I could get this page to have 700 likes over the next six months, this is going to come up in the search results in Google. Maybe even before your own website. Um, Pinterest is very powerful and uh, the, the reason it's very powerful is because of these powerful URL strings um, well that's one of the reasons okay I hope I didn't ramble on too much I hope this helps if you have a Pinterest account go in and write good descriptions and also um, if you can get a better username choose a better username that's it uh, remember, Google understands uh, abbreviations, so CO Springs would work here, but someone already has that. Um, CO Springs RE would even work, because Google knows that means real estate. Okay, that is all. I'm going to deactivate this account because I am not really making this, which is what you should do. Do not have multiple uh, social network accounts if you get caught. It's not worth having everything shut down. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great weekend. That's not how you stop this.